Here's a quick overview of the ACE fuel injection for an LS engine. Uh, one thing I did not realize when I purchased this is at the back of the engine, at the back of the harness, everything has a separate plug, unlike Holly, if you've used a Holly or a Fitech. Like this is a plug for one injector, they're back here in the back. Two injectors back here in the back. Transmission plug. Um, there's a plug for your uh, coils. There's a separate plug for your crank sensor right here. But you got all these big plugs and then just your sensors that go up to the front of the engine. So you got to be able to stuff these big plugs somewhere out of the way. Now one thing it does do is it cleans up the stuff on your engine. You see like there's no coil connector there because it's in the back now and they do give you that. And if you're putting this in a truck, you do need the later style uh, injectors, the early style will not work. Luckily a friend of mine had a set out of a later model Tahoe and uh, they work fine. Um, same thing over here, you know, looks good without all those connectors right there. I think it looks better. And then, you know, the ones for your throttle body up here, of course, I ran them under the intake because I think it looks better not having anything in the way. Uh, as far as hooking it up just to get you running, uh, and you can run it this way, um, it does not come with a provision to hook up an alternator, so you got to buy the plug separate. You can get it on eBay, Amazon, Holly, wherever. And that plug has a resistor in it. Most of them are yellow. I always just run the red battery one with it. Uh, there is some wires in what they call the loose wires that plug into this big purple one that you can run this to. Uh, to excite the alternator. I wish they would just give it to you and put it in the womb like everything else. That would be great, but they do not. Um, you got that orange wire that goes to your fuel pump. You'll need to ground your fuel pump to something. Mine's all this temporary, obviously. You have a main power wire in your harness, a main ground wire in your harness. Uh, you'll have a can wire that hooks to your little screen there an ignition wire so we can go ahead and turn the ignition on and this is what it looks like when it pulls up this does have a gps uh, speedometer inside of it already which is kind of cool and you just hit this button right here to make it go to that obviously i'm in the garage so it's weak you can change these things on the sides. I haven't done it yet, um, just because I haven't obviously permanently installed this. As far as running goes, So it seems to work great. ECM small. Um, switching things in the handheld here is pretty easy. I haven't got into the automatic transmission stuff yet. Um, but, you know, I'll get there. It does have dual O2 sensors, uh, which I think my Holly did not, or the Fitech did not. I don't remember I had one or the other. Um, your transmission harness, if you choose to get it, does come with the extra wire for the turbine sensor, I think is what it's called. If you're running a 4L80, right there it is. And then this vehicle speed sensor for me was too short because I got an old transfer case and it's all the way back there. Um, but I think it would be too short 
anyway. Maybe, maybe not. Um, I guess it just depends on your setup. There again, thing runs super great with it. And uh, hopefully it has good road manners.